hutata hutata re tshwere tough time o tla tlo a o bontsa tonki me send in the coach uti e reng kana kweo masabat ha wa bona wa bona ba re kena ka motswa ka exactly do you see what katlo said in her video i said it and i mean it call the police kwata if wa kwata and if wa kwata kwata le kwata ya hao spring is between this month to this month no but then it's summer i don't get it but it's summer <laughs> zip your mouth and get to work okay <laughs> okay some of it even comes with flame oh my god <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is me, it is Katlo Malela. Thank you so much for being here today. My god today. Thank you so much for being here today because we're doing one of your favorite videos, one of your favorite segments on this channel. We are doing uh, unpopular opinions with a little bit of something cold, with a little bit of something sparkly, you know what I'm saying? Hello. Ooh. So refreshing. How uchisi. Anyway, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you so much for choosing me every single day over and over and over again. Please like the video once you have watched it. And if you did enjoy it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social platforms, and also watch all the ads, donate to the channel if you can. And if you want bonus content, you can jump into the membership space. The link is down below in the description box. Let's get started with the unpopular opinions. I'm coming for y'all today. Today, you guys are going to be so shocked. Mm. Okay. Mm. First unpopular opinion, and this comes at the, at, at the end of Love is Blind Season 6. Let me explain something to you with Love is Blind. I never watched Love is Blind until Season 6. TikTok got me into watching love is blind and i watched it and let me tell you something the very first thing which is an unpopular opinion that came into my mind is that the people who create love is blind they need to be studied yup uh -uh. i mean let's be honest they need to be studied because what is this how do you formulate a series like this how do you put people in pods where they can't see each other, right? And you, 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 you hope, you pray, you go on your knees and you feel and you believe, which you know what? Some of these people will actually find love at the end of the day. How do you do that? How? Firstly, firstly, the first person, the first person I want to come at is the person who developed this show. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I need to find the James or the John or the Brian or the Samantha, Jessica, Jennifer. I need to find the person who created the show because absolutely not. We would never do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is why you only had one black couple in the series, in the show, in this series, in this season. Oh, wow, that is why you only had one black couple because the blacks are sitting there thinking not know what they look like and I'm supposed to just fall in love via net conversation. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. No, guys, honestly. Mm -hmm. Imagine the table. Imagine the table. I can in a pod. Already we know how problematic these people are. We already know the table is a problem. Mzwake even worse. Now all of a sudden they come onto the show and they talk. Bajutana. Let's start there. The, the, the reality is Baju. The people of Love is Blind who created it who sit in meetings and, and, and briefing sessions and war rooms about the show need to be examined. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Relying 
on a partner for your happiness is a surefire way of ruining your relationship. Mpot. Yeah. Relying on them to make you happy, it's a surefire, first things first way of ruining a relationship. If you disagree with me, catch me, ha, ntate adi. Ntate adi, he lives two streets away. Catch me, hand that the Ari, because I can tell you for free, that is the first surefire sign of ruining a relationship. If you are going to expect Mzwake, Temba, but I'll expect our Temba to Tabis, Temba. Yo, ha, 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 and think that the relationship will progress is the fastest way to desecrate it. It's the fastest way to like literally get a nothing from that relationship. That relationship will break up if you expect somebody to be the cause of your happiness. No, 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 no. Another no. unpopular opinion. It's okay to not want children. Stop barraging people who do not want children. Children, do not see them as but was snacks. Do not see them as if women were brought into this world just to make children. No, sir, I'm brought in this world to keep my womb intact. It's fine. It doesn't have to have a little human growing inside of it. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mrs. Do I need to break it down for you? The thing is, women are often just attacked. Okay, with the most malicious, malicious intent. People will attack women who say, attack women who say they do not want children. It's okay not to want children. It's okay to keep your money to yourself. It's okay for you to choose to eat your money with yourself or with your partner and not with children. There's nothing selfish about that order. when I you're going to go, ulo tama ulo matisa masabata lilo koka lilo kokasa. I know you guys are going to kokas. Like, did you see what Gatlo said in her video? I said it and I mean it. Call the police. Call the police. I said it and I mean it. It's okay to not want children. Normalize this. Make this a normal thing. Don't want to have a conversation with people who say that they do not want to have children just because you don't understand why. Why do you need to know why? Hmm? Why? See, Paul, please, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Eh, eh. Normalize people saying that they do not want children and believe that it's an okay thing. We don't have to justify why we do not want children to anybody. To anybody. I said what I said. <sighs> Just because when I sent you. Okay? I'm talking to you, girl. Focus, chef. Just because when I sent you, you and Jacob got married and you guys love each other and you guys what 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 does not mean you should have children never that just because you are in a solid relationship just because you are in a marriage doesn't mean you should have children some couples shouldn't have children period it's hard enough getting your own self up out of bed. How are you going to do it with a two-year-old? Mm? Your whole life, your whole, the entire trajectory of your life is problem. That's all that's written on it. Problem. It's written on your forehead. Problem. Then when are you going to want and bring another entire human being into your space? Because nishatili. Because niatandana. Not every couple deserves children. Facts. You can, you can say, you can be married 20 years. You can be married 10 years. 5 years. Not every couple deserves to have children. You shouldn't 
be having the kids. Mzwake. Stop going around. Uzwinka. Kaponcho raiza ya hao. Kwelo uzwinka kamdenge renge wa hao mzwake. You shouldn't be having children. You cannot manage what comes with having a child. Period. Kichil. I'm sure some of you guys are worried like Katla was dangling her glass, sweetie. Done this so many times. Mutukhala <laughs> nojwala. Anything can fall, not the alcohol. Because. <laughs> alcohol is nice. Now, if you are somebody who likes to go to the beach, you're going to hate me for this one because personally, I feel that trips to the bush, the wilderness, the wild are better than trips to the beach. I said what I said. Fuck. I said what I said. Imagine sand in your cooch, sand in your eyes, just sand salt. When you like lick your lips, you're, like, mm, you're licking your lips, salt. Who, who be easy man bitching? It's frightening just looking out onto what's happening. Kur, 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 tsunamis. Tsunamis. Think about the tsunami that happened in 2000 and what was it? 2004, 2008. Think about that. 2006. Think about that. Think about that. There's something frightening about being in the beach. However, how shabanilijitau? Cool, you know, even some, some, some reserves don't have game. So you can literally walk around. It's wonderful, especially going to a game reserve in winter. It's cold. There's fireplaces. Oh, it's just absolutely romantic. When I think about the beach, I just think about sand in the bomb, bro. <laughs> Sand in the cooch. UTI irinka na kweo. Masabat. Ha! Yo! Mm. Imagine, you go to the beach first day. You're there for two weeks. Mm? Ke honeymoon. Okay? You go to the beach first day. You're at the beach. You get sand in your hoo ha. You get sand in your little petunia. Do you understand the weekend, the, 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 the UTI? Do you understand? The UTI that's going to come from that, there goes your whole trip. None of that is going to happen on the bush. In the bush, absolutely not. There's something really just regal about being in the bush. There's something really just wonderful and just, ah, oh, just bourgeoisie, man, about being in the bush and dressing in the browns and the greens and safari drives and whatever. The beach is just, ugh. Date <laughs> someone within your IQ range. Very important. Very important. When I ototamaya ulo lata tebo. You are going to go and get Tebo, Tebo way below your IQ range. Let me tell you why it's important to date within your IQ range. It stops you. It saves you. It saves you from explaining the dumbest things. It saves you from explaining the most basic things. It saves you from having to explain the most obvious things. Date within your IQ range. At least at that point, you won't find yourself explaining for half your relationship. Then you can. Mm. It makes sense. Then, then you don't have to explain. So you don't have to sit here and explain. Hore, no, our seasons. Spring is between this month to this month. No, but then it's summer. I don't get it, but it's summer. Imagine having to explain the winter solstice to somebody. Mm? Yeah, you're sitting there thinking you don't know what the, what the hell? Winter solstice? What's she talking about? 
date within your IQ range so you can tell somebody that you want to go to Sweden or you want to go to Norway so that you can see the northern lights and have that person actually understand what the northern lights are. Oh, you know my northern lights. Yini. King. It's one of palace. And for Saz. This is for the readers. I'm a reader. I'm a big time hotshot, big time reader. I love to read. Just because you read doesn't make you smart. Just because you read does not make you smarter than the next person. It doesn't. Some people read Exactly. They don't read to comprehend or understand. They read just because they can come back to you and say, I've read Hood Feminism. Oh, you've read Hood Feminism? Feminism. Oh, by Michael Kendall. Can you tell me, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's because, it's because... Ah, what a fun, man. Ah, eh. Oh, what? Uh. Feminism, it's, it's a good thing. Okay. What do you think about hood feminism? What stood out to you when you read hood feminism? So. Some of y'all, just because you read, doesn't make you smarter. You just read so that you can look like you're smart readers love to go to bookshops and whatever and just sit there and read you know and and readers oh there's nobody who judges each other there's no group of people who judge each other like readers okay readers love to look smart and sit there with a chunky monkey book okay so i would be sitting there with a book by ruth ozeki okay and ruth ozeki writes some some intense stuff okay you got to be here you got to be here when you read uh, Ruth Ozeki. Then Palissa comes and she says to you, tell me what you just read. So, tell me about Yeah, married people are going to hate me for this one. Marriages nowadays are just for business and financial moves. Now, listen to comprehend. Don't listen to judge immediately after what you've just heard. Listen to comprehend, okay? Oh, it was cloudy and now the sun is deciding to do its thing. So, listen to comprehend. Marriages nowadays are smart business financial moves. I genuinely feel like they are. Hotata, hotata, it's a tough time. Yes, it's a tough time. We are pulling very by heart. Then marriages nowadays are done as business, transactional, and financial moves. Mpot, kimaka. Maka aka akai. Thank you. Agai maka. Hi. Mm hmm. Marriages nowadays are smart business and financial moves because you know or when you are married you have a dual income. You know or when you are married you can sustain yourself and the house that you live in and the livelihood and the nice things and the trips and the this and the that and the that. You know you can only do those things when you is a married and not only on top of that utonyala and insist Go on, IQ, and insist on community of property. You know why you insist on community of property? Because you're insisting on that because you know. You know. Or should things change? Half. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh. Ay, 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 ay. Of what that person has. Half of what you have. I can tell you guys, gents, relax. Khali ki noi jwal. Half, 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 half. Business, 
transactional financial moves. The people who get married for love nowadays, they did it right. They got it right. They did it for the right reasons, for the reasons it was meant to be for. Isingwena abet. Wena? Isingwena. Labona Luna, that love to say that you went through traumas. Luna, I'm talking to myself. You guys that love to say that you went through traumas, childhood traumas, emotional, mental traumas, whatever, whatever. Let me tell you something. Going through trauma does not make you exempt from being accountable. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. Going through trauma still makes you accountable. That is the unpopular opinion. Going through any form of trauma does make you accountable. Just because Uno Goa gives you no reason to go wish at somebody else. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just because you are sitting here fighting your demons, Dipu. Just because you are sitting here fighting your demons does not give you the right to treat somebody else like crap and feel like you can get away with it. I said it. Kwata if wa kwata and if wa kwata kwata le kwata ya how? Yeah if, yeah if kwata le kwata ya how because anam thana linta ba huru kwati le sudat. Aha ayo. Just because you've gone through emotional trauma still and very much so makes you accountable as a grown-up. If you are an adult, your responsibility is to handle your healing. Yes, you cannot control the trauma that you go through. You cannot control the trauma that you suffer growing up. But your healing is entirely your responsibility. So we will hold you accountable, Dipuo. Lagato, we will hold you accountable. You have no right to exhibit foul behavior and then come back and say, no, but you know that it's because I've gone through this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But with the way they were so, the way, Bendikoa, Bendikoa, just because Bokoa gives you a right to, to treat me like nothing. Please, you are the nothing. You are the nothing. You know why? Because you didn't work on healing yourself when you should have. You didn't work on doing the hard work. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Are you in love right now? Okay. Don't be mad at me. But it be like this sometimes. Many of y'all claim that you are in love. When in actual fact, you're not in love. You're just afraid to be alone. You're just afraid to be uncomfortable. You're afraid to sit with yourself. You're afraid. What's happening, man? When I this, this, this... Yeah, but when it comes to being alone and actually sitting in your business, we part, we part, you are afraid of doing that for yourself. So you'll sit all the time like, oh my God, I'm in love, I'm happy. And then after that relationship breaks up, two weeks later, oh my God, I'm loving, I'm happy. Oh my God, we just instantly, Cynthia, I'm talking to you. We just instantly fell in love and oh my God, two new sunny guys. No. No, 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 no. You're just uncomfortable being alone. You're just uncomfortable being by yourself. Many of y'all are in love or you claim you're in love because you're uncomfortable being alone. Being alone scares you. This is coming from someone who's done the work, who's got the, the, the childhood trauma, who's continuously even taught it no is doing the work you are afraid to sit with yourself and do all the work that needs to be done yeah if yeah if exactly another another one i just thought of it now you can heal even while in a relationship 
who wait let me give you a moment to think about that then you can it makes sense you can heal all your traumas even while being in a relationship do you understand what i'm saying do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth you can yes people seem to think or no in your healing period you must be alone so you can but i yourself but this is yourself figure yourself out figure out what you want what you don't want what no you can heal while touring within within a new relationship provided you are doing the work if you are not doing the work ain't no healing that's going to come of that and because of that as a determining factor as a determining factor that relationship as well will end but if you are committed to doing the work to heal yourself and all that you are coming into this new relationship with you can heal while you are in a relationship yes use yes yes use over 18s you ready shop all right dog shop sure oh. guys i went through a lot this morning <laughs> I went through a lot this morning. Somebody came through to help me out. It's been a mess. It's been a crazy mess. I'm literally frazzled. I'm all over the place. Anyway, excessive talking during coitus. During coitus. Right? Excessive talking is not cute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn it's not cute. The over explaining. It's not it. The over explaining, the over having to it's a so it's a so. What what the dirty talking? Ugh. <laughs> How do you guys even do that stuff? It's not cute. Do the thing. This is not to be mistaken with the sounds of love making. Do you understand what I'm saying? The moaning, the grunting, the ha he he he, whatever. That's fine. But the excessive talking. But do you like when I during our ah what a fun man ah eh oh what uh uh let's have a, a a congress a congress <laughs> congress let's have a congress and let's sit and discuss after the fact okay about it then we have hindsight then we, did you like it when i did this should i want to do that in the meantime zip your mouth and get to work okay <laughs> let's zip your mouth and get to work sebeza sposiso yo some of the things that people say to each other mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. while we are in the space of coitus okay ditebo this one is for you ditebo wena this business of spitting into each other's mouths and for saz Happening during coitus or foreplay or whatever, nasty sis. Why am I supposed to know what you ate for lunch? <laughs> Just because you decided to spit into my mouth, now all of a sudden, cats about Rujiles Tampolim Hood. Awa, awa, ah, based on just yours. <laughs> Some of it even comes with flame. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You get, why are you spitting? Why are you doing that into somebody's mouth? Hey Amen. Spit where you need to spit the ass. <laughs> <laughs> grown folks things however mulomung mouth to mouth 
So much like, and you're like, uh, oh, hell no. <laughs> Nasty. Absolutely disgusted. Like, I'm sorry. La nyongi saman. La nyongi saman. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, let's talk to Luna. Lorega, <laughs> you're trying to find anything and everything. It's not it. I'm sorry. You know, for the people who go around saying that relationships are meant to be easy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What we're not going to do is lie to other children. Why? Relationships are meant to be effortless. At the same time, meant to be difficult. Both apply. Relationships are meant to be met with effortlessness right that's not even a word but they're meant to be effortless right and they're also meant to be met with difficulty that's what relationships mean don't buy it when somebody says or when you found the one relationships are meant to be easy it's just going to be easy it's going to be seamless absolutely not lies 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 and the duty I give us was so highly it's a net dating, net for dating. Relationships aren't meant to be completely effortless. Relationships are meant to be met with moments of ease and difficulty. And difficulty. Relationships will have you ripping your hair out. Be like that sometimes. But then in the same week, smooth sailing. Dating someone full of kindness and consideration is extremely important in a relationship. More important than somebody who's got money or somebody who's got more important. Let me tell you why. <laughs> the values of kindness and um, uh, what did I say? The values of kindness and consideration don't go away. You're brought up with that. You're nurtured with that. Those are the most extremely important parts that can make or break a relationship dependent on whether they exist or they don't. Let me tell you something. Those are the most important things that you need to look out for. That is more important than finances. That is even more important, I'd go as far as to say, than love. Love your person, yes, but love is never enough. But if you have somebody who exhibits love, kindness, and consideration, shem, you've hit the jackpot. If you have somebody who exhibits love and finances, or that's why our bonds are donkey. Otoho bonds are donkey. That person will make an ass out of you. Because when somebody considers you and they're kind towards you, they worry about how you will respond. They worry about how something will land to you if they say something to you. Therefore, they make it very important to move with intention when it comes to you, to exhibit signs of kindness when it comes to you, to be considerate of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your reactions, all of that. You can have somebody who loves you and brings the money, but is absolutely horrible. It's nothing. <laughs> Hi. Kindness considerations are the cornerstones to building a relationship. That's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please like the video subscribe to the channel if you did like the video and you want more bonus content you can join the channel membership space thank you so much for choosing me over and over again please also remember to watch the ads it goes a long way as to donating to the channel and make helping me create more content for you and if you do want to donate and you can't be a member please do you're more than welcome to give a thanks to the channel it's on the bottom here i think it's on the left hand side if i'm not mistaken but thank you so much for choosing me over and over again don't forget like and subscribe join the jk family and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one until then
Sayonara.